Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of three standard ranked ladder with our Sultai Invasion list. This is what I went over with my last sideboard Sunday, so you should know what this is, but if you didn't check out the video, make sure to go do that, and uh, I'll give a quick rundown. The Invasion of Amonkhet is your ideal 3-drop, and you want to, you know, play that after a Mosswood Dread Knight or a Teachings of the Kirin. This is going to allow you to apply some early pressure into it and flip it over on turn 3 to 4, or not 3 to 4, 4 to 5 usually. Doing so can copy things like the Thunder Hulk, Aklazot, Shelly, Glissas, whatever you name it. Even if you hit an Atroxa from the opponent, it can be very powerful. Once you uh, flip the invasion, you can usually end the game in just like a flurry of value pretty quickly after, since... The body's really big if you can copy ETP effects, even if they remove it, you're still going to get value. The Thunder Hulk is of course the best copy, since this comes in as a 4-4 with 3 plus 1 counters, and it makes 7 gnomes. When you attack, it makes 7 more gnomes, so this guy can end the game by himself very quickly. We're playing 3 Sentinel the Nameless City as a creature that has Vigilance, so it's really nice to attack into the invasion, and it can stick back to block. The map tokens that it makes can be used to throw things like your Aklazots or the Thunder Hulk into the grave for the invasion to copy. And besides this early game stuff, we have some Glissas, Shellys, and, I mean, the Aklazots for some very, very, very long game grinding potential. Over in the sideboard, we have some Spell Pierces, Disdainful Stroke, Duress, Bayloths, Cauldron, two Graveyard Trespassers, a Lily, and Path of Peril. But yeah, this deck is super fun, and I always have a blast playing it on the ladder, so if you guys are excited to see it in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I'd really appreciate it. I upload to YouTube five days a week with magic content just like this, so if you don't mind dropping a subscription, I'd really appreciate it. My birthday's coming up in just a couple days, so that'd be a great present. I'm trying to get my channel partnered still. <laughs> but with all that said... Let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game one. We will definitely play first. This feels really bad to put back, so I think we keep it. Let's play a Dread Knight. I think we just take two here. Let's play the Glade. That way we have both of our removal spells open. And we'll get in for three. Siege Vet. So, we have to kill the vet, then we can kill the officer. That's fine. That is a hell of a card. We'll play Shelly, and in for three. Mm -hmm. Down comes Ota, and another officer. No attacks. Let's go with our fine stock. And I think we just pass from here. Yeah, I knew they had a sentinel. So... You're just 
counter that. Yeah. We'll make him have another card and take another two. Sky Strike Officer, not bad. Cut down, also not bad. I think here we just activate the cottage. And we jam. Going for the triple block on Shelly. I mean, Definitely gonna have to at this point. Well, maybe not. So, taking seven, if we go to kill the officer, they draw and take another two, and they go to one. So they can't do that, they will just die on their draw step, so they take their, well, <laughs> I was going to say they take their death like a champ but they flash out some reinforcements to prolong it a bit. Harbin's pretty good. But not good enough. And I think we just run it like that. Alrighty, next game. A little bit of a greedy keep, but we do have tapped land into a cut down on turn two if we don't hit an untapped land. Since they're playing soldiers, that should be pretty good. And since we're on the draw, hopefully we find a land. land and we will pass mm -hmm. <laughs> so do we go to draw or just play the dude I think we'll just play the dude. Okay. Well, it didn't matter. It didn't matter either way. This is how I'm gonna lose game two. <laughs> We've got the edge in this fight. This is dumb. Okay, let's play a teachings. Of course, it mills three lands. Hmm. 
<laughs> I have got new moves to teach you. No, we're just going to go to game three. What the hell was even that? <laughs> So, emperors and make disappears. Think we just run it like that. Alrighty, game three. Definitely taking the play. Is this a keepable hand? Incredible. It has a curve too. <laughs> Let's fucking go. So no untapped land for two besides the Mirax. Which is a little annoying. Means we can't, unless we hit a blue land, play the invasion next turn. So hmm. I don't know. I think teaching's on the play might be good. Do you have a spell pierce? <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go with the glissa. You have a make disappear for that too. Of course. Let's draw a card. If they have the pierce, we can pay for it. Interesting. They choose to make disappear after I draw. Another officer. So we can get Aklazots down, or we can play the Trespasser or the Invasion. I think we're going to go with the Trespasser. If they have something like a Brutal Cathar... Mm. Eh, we'll just eat their beers. If they have something like Brutal Cathar to take away Aklazoth, it's gonna feel horrible. Or rather they, yeah, use it on something like a Trespasser. Let's go with the invasion. And they pitch a destroy evil. And we mill over Zephyr Sentinel and a Cathar. So the only reason I'm thinking about waiting is we can go for the throat and maybe catch an officer in combat, but if they have something like another Zephyr Sentinel, don't want to get blown out. So I think we just have to go for it now. Come 
cool. So we can get a Shelly copy. Glissa copy. Or Brutal Cathar. Let's start it off by swinging. And their things definitely aren't quite as good as mine, so we'll exile them and gain some life. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we will take it. We'll play Aklazots. And the Dread Knight. Three destroy evils in a row. So hopefully we, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that was their uh, sideboard card against us, and we ran him out of it. GG's. Alrighty, next game. Well, maybe not the next game, but oh my god, it's happening again. The last game was a mold of five every game, and never got past two land. Did get to go to all three games, but holy fuck. <laughs> and looks like this is going to be probably the same five color that we're just going to get stomped by again. And down comes the beanstalk. Let's play another Teachings. Mm -hmm. Shelly. So, if they go for Binding or Sunfall, they take additional damage, and it'll hopefully dissuade them from, you know, Land Invasion of Zendikar. Oh, there's the Land Invasion of Zendikar anyways. But, uh, might just be able to kill him next turn. <laughs> So if we go for the throat, take out the stomper, crack in with everything, they can live it to life, right? Yeah, so I think that's just the plan. So if they untap, cast a Leyline Binding. Herd Migration does save them here. And down to three. Archangel's not bad. Let's play the Takanuma and activate a cottage. Mm -hmm. GG's.
think we just got one or tie one sentinel. Alrighty, next game. And okay. Bunch of tap lands is definitely not great. But what can you do? Why do we always draw that? Let's see what you got. Okay. Let's play out the Ota. Yeah, I'd rather keep the Baseyu just in case, for now. And we'll play the Sentinel. Do we explore before we mill? I think we mill first. And big money. Let's go. Yes. I think that goes to the grave. Yeah, I think we'll just go with the Archangel. A disdainful stroke off the top to a uh, counter that atroxa. But it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. We could mill with the invasion and perhaps draw one. I think we'll do that. So, we have the Aklazots. That's two disdainful strokes in the grave. Hmm. And I don't think we're gonna have to go for the Throat Theatrox on their turn, so I think we'll just go with the Teachings. And here she comes. It's a pretty bad Atroxa hit. We'll just go there. Seed. We definitely didn't have lethal there, but not too bad and we'll take it anyways. GG's. Alrighty, next game. And is okay, we'll keep it. We really playing five color again? Well, looks like it. 
So do we start off with teachings or the Dread Knight? Yeah, I think we just go with the Dread Knight. And opponent's gonna play a Stomper. More land. Cool. We'll get in for three. We'll go for the throat. We'll get in for three. Whatever, we'll just play the teachings. And... Wow, it mills the first non-land cards that we've seen since the game started. <laughs> yeah, no, this is... And I think we just run it like that. Alright, game two. Definitely playing first. Sure. It's at least a curve that can apply some pressure. We'll lead with a tapped land. And we can go teachings into the sentinel. Cool. More land. Starting to remind me of last game. <laughs> Invasion milled off the top is definitely not what we want to see. Neither's that. And at the end of turn three, all we have is land. So hopefully the uh, top deck provides. Mm -hmm. The rest isn't terrible. We'll take it. Okay, never mind. That is pretty terrible. We'll explore. And in for five. Just doesn't do anything here. It's a great card for her, or like against them, but just doesn't do shit. Mm -hmm. What is this? Like, this is ridiculous. We'll get in for four.
we'll take three. And we'll go to Takanuma. Just insane. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We at least have like pretty good amount of damage that we can deal, but... Opponent probably just hit tackle on accident there. And they play a beanstalk. Damn. Of course there's the sunfall. to Troxel. Take another two. And of course there's a binding. And a farewell. Cool. the vine stalk. Cannot believe we won that with just land. Yeah, I think we just keep it like that. Alrighty, game three. Screwed or flooded, pick your choice. We'll take a mole. Yeah, I mean, I guess. We'll see what you got. Just an archangel. Okay. So Disdainful Strokes, since they have a cavern, is just going to be for the uh, Horde Wipes, I guess. Almost played the Dark Slick Shores, which would have been bad. Play the Wastes and just start applying pressure, I think. We'll get in for three. And we will pass.
and opponent's gonna play a stomp. Okay. What is, what is this? Why can't I get my land? In for three. Let's pass. Unfortunately, the Archangel is uncounterable, so there goes the Dread Knight, and we take two. Sure. Why not? Man, I try my best to not get tilted at magic, but like, every single game has been like this today. Just trying to hit mythic, I keep getting one win away, and then mana screwed. have some of those. and all their land on me. You're shitting me. <laughs> okay, we'll pass. Down to four. Great. Cool. <laughs> this game sucks. <laughs> and a couple post game thoughts for everybody. This deck is so much fun. I got a little bit tilted towards the end. Uh, today, my recording day was a stressful one. We just went basically from the top of Diamond 1 to the top of Diamond 2, top of Diamond 1, top of Diamond 2, top of Diamond 1, just back and forth, back and forth, so I got a little annoyed and frustrated at the end, but it happens. I try my best not to, but it does occasionally get to me. As for any changes in the main deck, I'm thinking I might go up to the fourth copy of the Sentinel, since it's just so powerful. Just not quite sure what to cut. Might be, you know, going down to one Glissa or just cutting the well entirely. Who knows? Thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.